April 19th, 2024, at approximately 9.20 or 9.25 a.m. And um, I'm going to go ahead and just give you a few updates here and there. Of course, you can see um, I have boxes here. Uh, and I am preparing on getting stuff packed up to get away from this environment that has been severely infected by, well, let's just say a lot of negative energy. So this is kind of a, a pick up where we left off with my last video. I had other recordings in between that uh, pertained more to the situation, but I am going to leave that be for right now. And I'm going to pause this and we'll give it back to other things, other topics at hand. But we're going to do something that I have not done in approximately uh, five days to, uh, well, I'll, I'll just say a week, roughly. And that is feeding the cats. I'll explain further as we go along. Hi ho silver and away we go. Okay, so the motion sensor from outside of the apartment has been moved, but yet it is still sending off the alert notification. Okay, so this is what we got going on right now. It is windy. Uh, and oh, up in the sky, somewhere in here, we have a uh, high flyer, uh, one single <coughs> cloud. Like I said, very breezy out here. And these guys are waiting on me. No, this is not a cat video. YouTube, please respect that. I have not been feeding these guys as I am playing Moses and attempting, hi there, attempting to part the Red Sea. Uh, hi girls, hi boys, and they're all, I mean they are, they've been really making me feel bad. So I'm going to pause it for a moment. Yeah, unfortunately I am having to wean these cats away from uh, my feeding because uh, their dependency on me has gotten a little too strong come on up and like I said I have not been out here in many days come on it's okay poofy puffy come on and and they began they've been giving me quite the guilt complex all right so Anyways, uh, you're going to hear me puffing and pant panting, and I'm in a lot of pain right now. Yesterday, something went out in my lower back, but I'm having to override that and continue on with what I need to get done today, one of which was attending to these cats, uh, pancake breakfast for them all. Like I said, I don't know if I'll be feeding these guys at all. In the upcoming future so that is that for right now um, I want you to know that I am going to repost the narrated version of my recording from April 10th um, and which I am basically only going to upload the longest clip of that recording because it was actually two clips together um, and which the first clip was a little bit over 17 minutes long and the other uh, follow-up clip was a little over four minutes long 
but uh, the uh, of course the main clip is where it shows it all and I want you when you are once again watching this video if you care to watch it the narrated version pay close attention to that glowing in the cloud and how there is a point a very sharp point to where I firmly believe that it, that is some type of a craft and and you know if it was tilted vertically with the point being downward you could almost imagine it to be something akin to that um, what they call it the, the dark uh, dark star or oh I can't remember but it's that thing that has been seen uh, many many times that's kind of black in coloration and and in space uh, I'm not thinking too clearly my mind has been frazzled I have been uh, having issues of course physical mental emotional issues cause me a decline um, and I'm trying to rectify that I'm trying to I uh, tried to rectify uh, situations yesterday uh, over this place that I live uh, with the manager and uh, possibly hearing back from him again today and which is going to of course increase the threat nature against me uh, I, you know, don't make me mad. Don't, don't make me angry. I am not one prone to anger. I might get mad, but anger is a whole different story altogether. And the more that has conspired against me, the more apt those conspirators are to out themselves. That's how it works. Unless you are on the inside but working for those on the outside. If you get my drift. Alright. And then once again, you know, that, that falls into the category of uh, double agents and, you know, within the spy realm and all that stupid crazy nonsense. But I'm going to stop it here. I gotta head downtown before my back completely goes out on me and get what I gotta get done so I can go ahead and resume with this day and like I said I will be posting that that narrated version so stick with me um, I'm not sure how much longer I'll be on this platform uh, other things are in the works so uh, I, I'll probably I'll probably end up coming across something to add to this, but for the time being, this is this, and that's that. <laughs> Have a great one. Maybe we'll see you back on here on this flip side. And, of course, I just step out of the tree line there, and we had uh, we another high flyer up there. And something else I forgot to, to make mention. Look at how green we're getting. Huh? Oh, so much nicer than all that nasty white. So, all right. Once again, we're we're gonna stop it and resume again shortly. So, 9:45 a.m. I am now done with what I had to get done here at good old DG, and no. Oh, so anyways, uh, I had to pause that because uh, one of the customers who <laughs> had to walk on by didn't want to be recorded. She didn't want to interrupt my recording, but that was cool. So anyways, uh, you know, before I move, I just want to show you. This, this here is a gas station. Uh, it used to be known as Lanco Clark. And it has been closed down uh, for quite some time now. And I actually spent five years of my life working for this gas station all right yeah loud oil truck 
And over here, um, this white building here, that has been a pizzeria uh, over the years through different ownerships. And this is the place that uh, I was asked to take over control of when I was involved in that pizzeria restaurant business. And which of course I declined. <laughs> but I just thought I'd share a little bit of my past history with this past community. Um, and you know, it is it is a very gorgeous day out here today. I have to say, it is very pretty, if you will. But it is also pretty cold. Uh, the temperature is not that that great. The wind is. <laughs> I mean, it has a chill factor in, in a half. And the reason why I'm recording this right now is because I've I had to squat down my back, just couldn't hang tough. And I'm I'm in a lot of pain. <laughs> but no boo hooing for me. Uh, it is what it is, and and eventually it'll get dealt with. So um, yeah, there's just that that little bit much more transparency within my life because after all I might as well put out what I can while I'm still on this platform um, it's not much but it's just a little addition uh, because after all if you go from the beginning of this channel to, to the you know to the my first recordings and move onward from there it is basically a journal of my life uh, for the most part and you know so it's you know you get a you get a chance to walk in my footsteps uh, travel in my shoes if you will and and if you haven't done so already you know some of my best content is in my earliest recordings so on that note I am going to go ahead and make way back to uh, that that hole in the wall the box that I have resided in for far too long and and whether this will be the end of this uh, video or not I'm not sure but uh, oh and as I sit here oh my uh, this used to be uh, a local bank too as well I mean this is one of the oldest buildings here in our community but as I look up above, uh, you can see flying overhead there is there's aircraft. And that's the case anymore. Whenever I point my camera to the sky, boom, there, there they are. Always present, it seems like. But as far as other, okay, see all this right here, including our post office. Uh, these are all some of the oldest buildings around. Um, they are not of the original village though. Uh, even though this is the, the intersection and basically the center of town, if you will, the original settlement uh, was located further down the road. And I have proof of this as I have more than likely the only original pamphlet to the town that once was here that had the stables, that had the blacksmith shop. Um, uh, you know, the whole time. We're, we're talking uh, late 1800s. And, and I have a lot of collectibles from around this community that more than likely I have the only uh, types of those. Hold on. So yeah, I, I have been uh, heavily involved in the history of this community for many years and and which I have a lot of historical documentation from this area and and, th and that's due to the fact that I was gutting out an uh, old farmhouse that is oh at least 150 years old. And I came across a lot of these uh, items that, uh, that I've collected within the walls that fell down through from the from the overhead attic and whatnot. Boy.
So, anyways, once again, I am I'm just kind of rambling on here. Uh, gotta recharging uh, my battery to get get back my physical battery, my body battery to get back down to my place. So. Uh, I am going to go ahead and get a move on, get back down there, and and if I don't add on to this, then be sure to, if you so desire, check out that narrated version from April 10th, and you might might enjoy it just a little bit more.